Having a strong neck, why is that so important? It's important because you want a strong spine and it's the upper portion of your spine. It's one of those things and it connects you to the rest of your freaking body. The voice change that occurs in boys when they develop and go through puberty is a thickening of the vocal cords that's androgen dependent. All of this muscle tissue has gotten so much stronger because of it. It's just, my neck is bigger. You also use it. You use it more than you think. You know, especially me, I was, uh, my, my favorite technique is probably head and arm choke. Healing after injury, a more handsome appearance, better posture, and sports performance. The neck is really an underrated part of your body when it comes to fitness. But make no mistake, it is similarly, if not more, significant than the remaining aspects of your training. Exercises for the neck protect you while also improving your athletic skills, which is why they are even more beneficial in fighting and games that involve contact, like boxing. So why aren't more trainers and coaches including these workouts in their training plans? What are the exercises done? What are the benefits gained? And how do you begin something on your own? You've got questions, we've got answers. In this video we will be discussing each of this including Why you should train your neck, best exercise for, and how long to get the perfect neck. Watch the video till the end. It will be very interesting. Let's go. Firstly, let's talk about the potential benefits from training your neck. Improves signals from the brain to body, improves stability, helps release tension and stiffness, helps prevent injuries, improves breathing, improves posture, improves balance and coordination, helps reduce neck and back pain, and improves mental health. This and more you gain from training your neck. Today, we live in a society where daily life compromises our posture. Many of the common everyday aches and pains can be prevented by having a strong neck, including slouching when sitting, using a phone, sleeping poorly, stress, aging, and more. Strong necks are important for athletes to have. Reducing the amount of energy delivered to the brain during an impact by having a stronger, thicker, or neutrally positioned neck might lessen the likelihood and severity of concussions and injuries. Let's not forget physique, enhancing aesthetics, and symmetry. You can't play sports with a lean neck, especially when it has to do with contact sports which we all enjoy. In general, everyone can gain from having a stronger neck, and it is very important to work on. But how can you start? Neck training is exactly what it sounds like. It involves doing exercises to improve the strength, stability, and range of motion of your neck. Gaining strength isn't the only thing that comes with physical training, despite what many people believe. By actively increasing your range of motion and mobility, you also need to work on strengthening your capacity to stabilize weights. But to gain this, some certain exercises are required. Neck rotations, neck extension, and resistance neck exercises are some of the best for neck training. Neck resistance is useful if you are looking to target different neck muscles. It involves rotating the neck in different directions while applying light pressure with the hands. Tilting your head slightly to each side strengthens the muscles that run down the sides of the neck. During the head rotation muscles are also worked when you tilt your head from side to side. All these exercises are very useful. And you see the benefits as previously mentioned. How long should you train your neck and when? Think of it as a stretching or warm-up exercise. It should often last between 5 and 10 minutes, depending on the targets and fitness levels of everybody involved. It's essential to gradually increase the duration and intensity of neck workouts as time goes by in order to properly promote strength growth and prevent injury. One way to achieve the best outcomes and reduce the danger of strain is to start with shorter sessions and gradually increase the duration as your strength develops. Practice all three of the next movement patterns, rotation, flexion, and extension. Aim for slower repetitions of these exercises and incorporate pauses or isometric holds at the end ranges of action. We load the movements in a variety of ways. The most popular would be weighted or banded neck harnesses. Keeping proper posture when exercising or going about your daily business can also help indirectly train the neck. Maintaining a neutral head and neck position, with the ears directly on top of the shoulders, is the foundation of good posture, which involves drawing the shoulders back. Neck training, in any of the aforementioned forms, should never be disregarded. Your body is your gold. Train well, ensure to get some rest, and set out a daily routine. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Have you ever wondered why people take exercising very serious? Watch the video and find out.